Good morning, Ravens. I'm Tyler Sotard alongside Cami Gibson, and this is ONW Now. Today we are bringing you stories about Mr. Mason, Mrs. Walsh, our ONW Choir, and the latest on Raven Winter Sports. Let's get going. From the Juvenile Detention Center to Olathe Northwest, computer teacher Mr. Mason has a journey of his own and a story to tell. Pedro and Elena have the full story. To graduate from Olathe Northwest, you must earn at least two technology credits. We sat down with Mr. Mason, one of the technology teachers, and got to know a little bit about him and what brought him to Olathe Northwest. I started teaching uh, in 2013. Uh, I student taught the year prior to that. The job I had before teaching at Olathe Northwest was uh, a juvenile corrections officer at JDC for almost 10 years. It was interesting. No two days were the same. It was challenging, stressful, uh, upsetting, but uh, it was rewarding. I liked it. From officer to teacher, Mr. Mason learned to adapt to a more open and relaxed environment. Uh, the transition, it's been pretty easy. The, the biggest thing is just uh, the students here at Olathe Northwest are a lot nicer than what I'm used to. Um, doing student teaching, somebody lost scissors and lost a pencil, and so in JDC we'd have to do a lockdown strip search and search the building, search all the kids for that stuff, and in school nobody cares if you lose stuff. So. After teaching both business and technology curriculums, Mr. Mason has learned about the hard work that goes into technology projects. I like my computer classes, um, my web design, I, I mean all of them, just because from the standpoint when, whether it be graphic design, web design, or computer essentials, you you have a finished product when you're done. Um, it's something tangible versus some of your marketing and business classes, they're more con concepts and, and nothing tangible that you see when you're done. Be sure to say hello to Mr. Mason when you see him in the hallways. For own to be now, this has been Elena Gray. Now back to the desk. Another teacher has her own interesting story, and while this country wasn't her birthplace, it has become her home. Mrs. Walsh was kind enough to share her story with Tiaja and Samantha. Moving to another country can be a difficult transition. Walsh shares her story. It was very hard, very hard for me because I uh, lived all my life with my parents. I went to college in my hometown, so I didn't ever live away. And then I, I came to the United States with my husband, and I did not speak English. I could not speak a word of English, so it was very difficult. Discovering your teaching style is different for many teachers. Walsh found her love for high school here at ONW. I started my teaching career again here in the United States teaching a great school. And that was a fun experience, but uh, my love is for high school. So uh, Dr. Post gave me the opportunity to come here and, and teach at Olathe Northwest, and, and I, I feel like that has impacted my life a great deal. I try to, to provide an environment where if you, you learn through games, that I have games. If you learn through visual aids, that I have visual aids. And if you learn through, uh, through, through whatever it is that you want to learn on, I, I want to be able to provide that. And, and I constantly, I'm constantly learning. I'm never thinking that I'm done learning. And that's, I think that is the most beautiful thing about teaching. For ONW Now, this has been Samantha McHugh. Now back to the desk. Well, they're not typical, but some of the most entertaining sports can be tossed around at your own home. Mr. Holson's Intro to Tech classes have designed and built custom ladder golf games for sale. Sean McPartland has everything you need to know. Mr. Holson's Intro into Industrial Technology class has started producing ladder golf, a backyard game, to the student body for $30. The class must be efficient in their process to ensure that they can produce enough products for potential buyers. James Chapman leads the marketing team in the class. What the class does to make sure they're on time is that we split up into four groups. One is 
um, design group, quality assurance, jigs and fixtures, and the actual cutting of it, the production team. Um, us splitting up helps us divide the jobs evenly to make sure we get it on time. From designing to assembling, the class puts in many hours to make sure the ladder golf game is a good quality product to sell to students and staff. Students work with CAD to ensure that they have a solid design to work from, but to top off the ladder golf, they have added a Northwest theme to the game. It is painted blue, black, and white. So throughout this part of the class, I felt it's just been a really great experience. I've never really done this kind of thing before in a class, so it's just really fun to work with a bunch of people and come together on something we can actually sell to the student body. You're selling them for $30. If you want one, you can contact Mr. Holson or anyone in the Intro to the Industrial Technology Department. The Intro to Tech class plans on making around 25 projects that will be up for sale in the next few days. For o &W Now, I'm Sean McPartland. Now back to the desk. Sounds like a great idea for a Christmas gift. Thanks, Sean. After a long and heavy preseason, Mason Company took it to the mat for their home opener against Turner High. Brady Jensen has the wrestling report. The Ravens took on the Turner Tigers last Wednesday and came out with an early string of wins. Returning state qualifier Evan Pardue won his match by decision. What do you think you did as an individual? Um, I think I did well today. I took some good shots. I probably should have cut him, so I could take him down a couple more times. Maybe got some bonus points, but yeah, I thought I wrestled well today. The Ravens enjoyed early season pins from Will Whitaker and Taylor Jokerst. But the Ravens fell short, losing the duel 36-35. to Pardue, how do you think the team did as a whole? I think the team did really well tonight, and I think we have a little bit of room for improvement, but I think we did well. Come out on Saturday to the next wrestling meet. The tournament starts at 9 a.m. at Olathe Northwest. For o &W Now, this is Brady Jensen. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Brady. Congratulations to our Lady Ravens basketball team for the victory over Washburn Rural last Friday. The team travels to Lee's Summer High School this Friday. And the boys came from 13 points down to beat Washburn Rural in overtime. Connor Curtis has the story. Last Friday night, the Latha Northwest Ravens hosted the Washburn Rural Junior Blues. Both teams traded scores early in the game. The Ravens were led by Evan Reed, who hit crucial threes for the team. The Ravens found themselves down by 11 starting the fourth quarter, but fought back, and Jay Mon Kelly hit a three to force overtime. The Ravens dominated the overtime, winning 62 to 56. The next game is in Lee Summit on Friday. For o w Now, this has been Connor Gertis. Now back to the desk. The boys play for the championship game in the Parallel Tournament this Friday at 8. Looks like we have some great start starts to our sports teams. That about wraps it up for today. We leave you now with Brooke and Riley asking basketball questions and word from the halls. For Cami Gibson, I'm Tyler Sotart. Good luck on finals and we'll see you in 2015. I'm not sure. I don't know. 96 feet. A journey that you go from point A to point B. And they run across the court with the ball and they just travel with it. Um, it's where the person is holding the ball and they don't bounce in, they take steps. It's where you walk without a uh, dribbling. Ten. Eight. Five. Five. One, two, five. Wait, five. I don't like basketball. <laughs> Box them out. No. He like assists the ball to people. Make a shot. They guard the point. I don't know. Guards the point so people don't score. Brings the ball down the court, distributes, assists, plays. Oh, <laughs> 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 what? 
Yes. <laughs> no. Why not? Because he doesn't play for KU anymore. Yes. Isn't he not on the team anymore? I don't know. <laughs> no. Why not? Because KU sucks. That's done.